think team working skills because most of the um, jobs that they told us about involve working a team. Uh, organisational skills is good for timekeeping because you don't want to be late obviously when you're going to work. So. Uh, they told us a lot about what subjects you need to get the jobs and some of the jobs like that you had your eye on you wanted to choose you kind of now know what subjects you should base it around on. Well it's widened my horizons because uh, I wanted to be a teacher when I, when I went in but now I might think about other type of jobs. I'm Carol and I'm a hairstylist in a salon. Well it basically just gives them a variety of different jobs it then lets them choose what they need subject wise for that job and it also just lets them see what other people actually do. My name's Fraser Ross and I'm an apprentice technician for Audi. Uh, as a former pupil here, uh, I found that when I'd done this uh, from a personal point of view, that most of the people who helped out in the careers day were primarily from university backgrounds. Uh, whereas now that I'm coming back to doing it, it's about getting people involved in apprenticeships, which is good. I'm Liza Begg and I'm a primary school teacher. Well, it lets them know that in my job, there is more to it than standing in front of children. It lets them know about all the other work that they don't see, like the planning and preparation, and all the, the resource gathering and everything that we do before we can stand in front of a, a class. My name's Arfan, I work for the government, the UKBI. My job title is Asylum Seeker Decision Maker. In my role, I think the main skill is communication. You have to learn to communicate with others. I deal with a lot of clients, as well as contacting government agencies and so on. So. Uh, building relationships with all different people so it's very important to uh, have good communication skills. 